Hello, hello, Pizza Packs here, and we're back with Mystery Booster Box number three from the Retail Edition. So let's get into this. Right. Packs one through eight. Nine to sixteen. Seventeen to twenty-four. Let's get cracking. Pack one. Let's check out our commons. Ooh, wall of omens. Very nice. A somber hover guard still occasionally sees play infinity. Knight's Whisper, very nice. Reckless Fireweaver, nice. Okay. Urban Evolution. Blood Vessel. Tower of Eons. Mirren Crusader. Hey. That was used to be an all-star. Foil Echoing Decay. Very nice. Don't see those very often. Back two, which fell on the ground. Back two. Okay, cloud shift, very nice. Occasionally it sees play as a backup for um, ephemerate in the decks that rely on ephemerate. Roar of the Worm, still occasionally sees play, mostly in pre-modern. Okay. Archangel, used to be a rare, long back in the day. Liliana, Death's Majesty, very nice. Another Foil Conspiracy, nice. I love the Foil Retro Frame cards. All right, pack three. Okay, we've got the commons. Humongulus. <laughs> That's always made me laugh. Okay. Blastoderm. Man, how the mighty have fallen. Five, very nice. Crystal Shard. Still occasionally sees play. Gravecrawler. Nice. And Foil Blasting Station. Alright. That is a hit, and it's miscut on top of it. I'll just sleeve that bad boy up. Probably sleeve up the Conspiracy, too, now that I think about it. Very nice. Pack four. Tasmal Bear. That was a fun one. Fling. I always thought it would be funny if they made a variant of Fling just called Whip. <laughs> Draco. Very nice. Commit to Memory. Also very nice. And Foil Drog Skull Captain. Used to be a all-star and blue-white spirits. Doesn't see quite as much play anymore, but still a very good card. Five. Gift of Estates. Hey. When this was reprinted in ninth edition, this was one of my favorite cards to just throw in any white deck. Thoughtcast, very nice. Never have too many of those. Seems to play in several formats. Priest of Titania, very nice. 
Holy Thoctor is an uncommon, so is Hamlet Captain. Milliken. Dragon Broodmother. Oh, that was so good. Precursor Golem. Another fantastic card. And another foil Panglacial Worm. Ah, the bane of judges everywhere. Card leads to so many wonky interactions. Pack six. Aura of Silence. Very nice. Fantastic sideboard card for Legacy. I think it recently got a reprint back into Modern. Or Firewalker. Solid sideboard card for Modern. Vapor Snag. Still sees play. Very nice. Snake Umbra. Sees play in Boggles. Threshing Brontodon. Iron Charm. Serrated Arrows. Ugh. Loved that card back in, back when it was in standard in, uh, well, several times actually. It was in Homelands originally, I believe. I mean, Homelands are Fallen Empires, and then it got reprinted in um, Time Spiral. Mystic Confluence, very nice. And a Foil Celestial Dawn. There we go. Sleeve that up. Foil retro frame stuff. All right, pack seven. Okay. Traction helix. Hey, that has several combos in Hopper that it enables. Okay. Triumph of the Hordes, very nice. Tall Ran, Sky Summoner, and Bringer of the Black Dawn. Wow. That is a crazy miscut. Holy crap. See how far off that is? Sleeve that up just in case. A lot of miscuts that don't align with the back. So that means it was a sheet overrun. As you'll notice, the back is fairly well aligned. That front is way off. Pack 8. Alice Jailer, very nice. Okay. Alex Dragon. Elvish Visionary. Can never have too many of those. Tide Crab. Tectonic Edge. Temporal Mastery. Very nice. It's Time Walk if you miracle it. And a Foil Scrib Ranger. On to our second stack with pack number nine. Angel Song! Still sees play and Hopper. Bellatar Guardian. Very nice. Of course, part of copycat combo. Curiosity. Excuse me. Ooh, there's the rain. I don't know if you can hear it, but they're. The bottom just dropped out of the clouds, apparently, because it is raining very hard. Hornet Nest. Occasionally sees a little bit of play in Pioneer, if I remember correctly, and an Undead War Chief. Very nice. For a foil. Pack 10. of Solidarity does see some play. London Growth, very nice. Forgotten Cave. Right, Carpet of Flowers. Wowee! 
That it's an uncommon that might as well be a mythic. That card is fantastic. Put that with our rares. Dictate of Helion, very nice. And Foil Lantern of Insight. That could be a couple of bucks as well. Lantern Control, one of the most loathed decks in uh, Modern. One of my favorite decks. All right, now to everyone's favorite with Elevens. Tends to be either Elevens or Poyuan. Cast out. Sees play in Pioneer. Also, cast out as an uncommon. Fireball is an uncommon. Oh, nature's lore. Hidden stockpile. It's an incredibly frustrating card when it was in standard. Hip. Frontier Bivouac, Martyr's Bond. Very nice. Sliver Hive Lord. All right. That's one of the big hits for the set. And a foil amulet of vigor. I think that's our second foil amulet. Beautiful. Dirty dozen, pack 12. Also, the halfway point of the video. Lone missionary, very good. Ghost ship. So good. So, Forgetful Fish, aka Dan Dan, great format. I actually like to add two ghost ships into mine. Because it doesn't really change the math, but it does add a very interesting element to it. Thrun, the last troll, very nice. And Fibithib the Lost with a foil wear tear. Nice. Lucky 13. This has been a heater of box. Stave off, very good. Sphinx's Tutelage. One of my favorite cards from Origins. Not my favorite card from Origins. I have Light Ending, still very good in Popper. Okay. Round. Manamorphose, very nice. All is dust. Nice. Recently saw a increase with the new Eldrazi deck. Got Skimor foil. Nice. Fourteen. Okay. Plastic right. guitar. On crop crasher, which is very good in ramming up red. Bituminous blast. One of the fallback cascade spells that people forget about. Sorcerer's broom. Dark steel garrison, very nice. Whelming wave, very cool. And funeral charm. Whelming Wave is one of those cards that's almost Wrath of God for uh, blue decks. Not quite, but it is it is close. Let's start colors a little bit. Guest Cloak Skirmisher. Guard Gamazoa. Which this has a couple of really neat interactions. There's an infinite damage combo with it. I can't remember what it is, though, at the moment. Oh, Innocent Blood. First time it was reprinted. It was in uh, Eternal Masters, yeah. Hadn't seen a reprint at that point. Beat into Antiquity. Twister. Eldrazi Devastator. Very nice. Occasionally sees play and pauper. 
Anna Sanctuary. Approach of the Second Sun. Very nice. Great alternate wind condition and a sheltering ancient. And Sweet Sixteen. Or Skyfisher, very nice. Solid card or Popper. Dark Seal Mutation, one of the best removal spells in Commander. Oh, Mana War. Dismember, very nice. And Dark Ritual. Alright, we are getting just a run of good stuff. Okay. We Dragonauts. Sajiri Refuge. Meddling Mage. Hey. Literally one of my favorite cards of all time. Champion of the Parish. Both go into five color humans, which has fallen a bit out of favor, but still fun deck. And Harmonic Sliver. Hmm. On to our third stack with 17. All right. Retreat to Amiria. It's a fun one. Invisibility. Brian Elemental. One of the core components of Soggy Pickles. Don't know that deck. Look it up. It was one hell of a deck. Flame Jab. Card that I always wish is a common. Actually, it might be. Crowd Goes Wild. It's Battle Bond. Strike from Darkness. Jungle Hollow. Volunteer Reserves. Whir of Invention. Very nice. And Spelljack or Springjack Shepherd. Very nice. Let's see, pack 18. If you're in the United States, don't forget to vote. Or re rather register to vote. This is a very important registration year. Very important voting year. Union Relic Order is an uncommon. Mind Sculpt. It's a good one. A price of Progress. Very nice. Mogwar Marshal. Also very good. Okay. Underworld Coinsmith. Nice. Then Viachino Sandstalker. One of those iconic arts throughout Magic's history. By Andrew Robinson. Morari Conjecture. Whenever I think of Viachino or Viachino. That's one of the two arts that comes up, or it comes to mind. The other one is the uh, Viachina Relic Breaker and Ogre Gatecrasher. Pack 19. Crypt Swap. One of the Remo removal spells of all time. The Renewal, Anticipation, Choking Tethers. Okay, it's greeting. Spider spawning, very nice. Bounding crisis, very strong. War chant. Savage knuckle blade and goblin bushwhacker. Very nice. Back twenty. Okay. Of light form, which is an uncommon. Commons. Queen's Agent. Shattering Spree. Very nice. Fantastic sideboard card. Feed the Clan. Another fantastic sideboard card. Terminate. Nice. Actually, Terminate does see Popper play now. Renegade Map. Martyr's Cause. Very nice. Two-Headed Giant. Beautiful. Named after the format, of course. And a Spike Feeder. So many infinite combos with Spike Feeder. One could say it goes infinite with a ham sandwich. Very nice. Giving it persist is especially funny because just giving one persist gives you infinite life. M more or less immediately. Whenever a creature attacks you, gain one life. Very nice. 
definitely slows games down. Sleep. Counterspell. Classic. Spike Shot Goblin. That was a solid one. And it's a good sideboard card. Okay, Centaur Glen. Very nice. Roll Closer. Chasm Stalker. Or Chasm Skulker, rather. And Foil Ravenous Strap. Beautiful. That was 21. Now for 2 to 2 2 2, it's 22. And we have another Palace Jailer. Very nice. Okay. Every Dream. What's that? Detonation. Seek the horizon. Okay, Plaza, Brimstone Mage, release the gremlins. Very nice. And Mirrodin's core, also heavily miscut. Hmm. Oil Mirrodin's core. That was such a good card. Such a good fixer for so many decks at the time. Glimmer Void was another really good one around the same time. Cord Hussar. Man, I miss that card. So much fun. One of the key components of Solar Flare. It's a very fun deck. Guided passway, Passageway and Decree of Justice. Beautiful new art on that. One of my favorite cycling cards of all time. Such a good closer for several decks. Uh, both Marari, or Marari's Wake and um, Slide use the Astral Slide. Use that as a thing. And another miscut proclamation of Rebirth Foil. Lovely. And last but not least, pack 24. All right. Danitha, Angelic Gift. Occasionally sees placed Stream of Thought. Nice. Of course, the closer for Turbo Fog. Animate Dead. All right. One of the most expensive uncommons ever printed. Or at least it was for a while. It has had several reprints lately. Whisper Silk Cloak. Very solid. Chromatic Star. Nice. Green Belt Rampager, which now goes infinite with the new Aluren. The new Energy Aluren, specifically. And foil Zura's Weirding with the beautiful 8th edition art. This is a miscut foil, too. Nice. Some fantastic pulls in this run. All right, thank you for joining me on this adventure with Retail Edition Mystery Booster, box number three. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff for the algorithm. It helps me bring more videos like this to you and uh, really helps out the channel. So, all right, until next time, stay awesome, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.